everybody welcome back to my channel thank you all for clicking on this video if you are someone who enjoys talking about film how about click on the subscribe button so today we're gonna be talking about netflix's new series selena of Selena the series dropped on Netflix December the 4th we did get nine episodes and of course it is the biopic of the Queen of Tejano Selena Quintanilla. Suzette Quintanilla is an executive producer for the show and it is kind of like a, a deeper look into the Quintanilla family and kind of what got them to stardom. Of course we do have the 90s Selena movie that just starred uh, Jennifer Lopez. Don't go in there comparing the two because obviously that's a movie movie is sh much shorter we do get nine episodes here so we are getting a little bit more of the story now i personally think that uh christian serrantos did a really good job in portraying selena i really did like the way that she is portraying her i know we still have a whole other part to go with it um i really loved the charismatic just kind of carefree spirit that you know we know of selena as far as being a fan of selena yes of course i am a fan of selena i'm not like a hardcore fan of hers but i am a fan of her so i don't know any of her like earlier music did get to like like Argacha, chico del apartamento wait did that one come on there i think that one came on here we did it and we were getting into como la flor uh, la carcacha oh i love la carcacha it's like good stuff <laughs> well, also you guys i am in a different scenery as you can tell i'm not in my little nook i am back in my room now if you're an og viewer this is kind of where i first started doing my movie reviews was in my room uh we have company right now so i can't be in my nook because everybody's in the kitchen that's by my my filming area so there's no quiet on set right now all i know really as far as like her life would be what i know from the movie now the actor who does play chris i absolutely adored him like i could really see like the love that he had for uh selena i see i didn't see that too much within the one that we got with jennifer lopez uh, i i really see it more like the way that that chris you know is looking at selena in this particular series it's just like even though we did get a lot of their struggles i feel like we could have dug a little bit deeper within those struggles that i had turned off my phone you guys one thing though that i really really do dislike about the series not really necessarily the series just a particular character would be um marcella i feel like she was just not used well to be honest with you she's just kind of there again suzette is the executive producer for the show so she had a lot of input in there so i don't know if i would i mean i know that i would not want my mother to be portrayed in that particular way but i get it if that is how your mother is the way that it ends really does leave you kind of like oh wait i want the next episode already uh, but it is a two-part series now is the series overall a great series I don't think so also the actress who does play selena that's not her vocals you guys you know it might sound very familiar because it is selena's vocals that they are using she is lip singing so that is another issue that i did have was that sometimes the lip singing just really does look like lip singing and i'm just like i don't know about this there's an interview that said that it's not about her her vocals and it's about telling the story of selena i believe jennifer lopez did the same thing when she did the 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 movie as well could be mistaken don't quote me on that but i i'm pretty sure that's how it was as well i didn't have those high expectations because i'm like if i go in there with these like super high expectations i'm gonna be disappointed but again from somebody who is a fan just kind of like midway fan i enjoyed it i would recommend this if you are a fan of selena um you could learn a couple things about her about the family things that you didn't know like ab like he literally had a hard time writing songs i didn't know that because again the only reference i had was selena the movie and in the movie he seemed to just kind of like pop out these songs like nothing it, it as far as i can remember he wasn't having like writer's block he wasn't having like a hard time trying to figure out and come up with the next hit and over here he is struggling these are all my thoughts on selena the series if you've seen it let me know down below what did you guys think about it let me know what your favorite selena song is um of course if you haven't seen it are you looking forward to seeing it go ahead let me know down in the comment section of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time i post something new until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye